Hey guys, what's going on? It's Get Off The Grid Guy here. Uh, just want to say thanks so much for tuning in and watching some of these videos I've been putting out. Uh, been on a little bit of a vacation here, uh, taking a few winter months off to kind of enjoy some time and write a few books. Uh, spent a lot of good time with the family during the, the holidays, as you know, here in the South. That's a real big thing. It's time for family. So uh, I really enjoyed all of that time. Uh, so i got to get back to work now. Um, so today I'm bringing you a promised review. It's been a while. This was one I did a giveaway uh, about five months ago for some gear. This is one of the, the pieces of gear that we gave away. Now, I already know what you're thinking. You're looking at this and you're thinking that is a ugly, ugly flashlight. Um, look, this is not, you know, a tactical piece of gear or, or some bullet stopping flashlight that, that knocks out people. Or, it's not. It's a simple, basic, uh, tried and true, been around for a hundred years, uh, lantern style flashlight. And uh, there's a couple of reasons I like these. I'm going to go ahead and break it down some in this review for this. This is an EverReady. Uh, this is an LED flashlight. I got this one at Home Depot. Uh, shameless plug for Home Depot. This was $5. It came with the LED lantern style flashlight body. Uh, it also came with the 6 volt battery that, uh, that operates this flashlight. Uh, like I said, this is an LED flashlight. Um, it's pretty bright. Um, puts out a lot, a lot of light and it lasts for a long time. Now, the reason I'm doing a review on this flashlight, like I said, it's not a $200 flashlight. It's not the brightest flashlight on the market, uh, but I ran a test on this flashlight here and uh, I had some pretty astounding uh, results on it. I left it on for 32 days straight. Uh, 32 days. Uh, didn't turn it off, not once. So, if we break that down on a calculator, this is how the math adds up. It was on for 32 days straight, 24 hours a day. That's 768 hours of runtime on one battery. Um, now, if you think about that, if you were off the grid or in a survival situation and you needed light at nighttime, let's say from 7 in the evening, till 10 in the evening when you went to bed, that's three hours a day. At three hours a day, you could use this for 256 days uh, or, or nights of light uh, in an emergency situation on one battery. Now, that's important for a couple of reasons. Um, one, this flashlight floats. It's supposed to be waterproof. I haven't tested that, um, but I have no, you know, no reason to doubt that claim. Um, now, these batteries, I found them at Dollar General for $2.80, I believe. They're at Walmart for about $2.88 per battery, or uh, a four-pack, I think, is $4.88. You get a little bit of a break on a two-pack, excuse me, not a four-pack, two-pack. Um, so, 256 nights on one battery on these. Uh, and like I said, it came with a battery already uh, ready to go, and that's the battery I tested. Um, so... That's important because for $5, I've got a flashlight and a battery that I'm, I can depend on for a long, long time. I know it's going to work for a long time. I know it's going to uh, uh, have power in that battery in an emergency. So I bought one of these for each member of my family. You know, uh, for like 30 bucks, uh, a lot less than some people spend on one flashlight, I've got 256 nights worth of emergency lighting uh, ready to go. So, uh, and that's for every member of my, fi uh, my family. This one belongs to Daddy. Um, so, I'm covered there. I hadn't taken anyone's flashlight away to make this video. Uh, I like this. It does have a little extra weight to it, but there are some benefits. Um, I'll go ahead and talk about that a little bit here for you. It breaks down pretty easily. Um, the battery, like I said, it has a little bit of weight to it. So, on a hike, it, it is a little more to carry, but... This is one of those multi-use items that I, I talk about from time to time in, in some of my books. If you've ever read any of my books, this is a multi-use item. Um, I keep, you know, usually one of these in my bag and I'll keep a spare battery around. The reason for that is with just a little bit of electrical wire and a, you know, $1 plug-in USB charger for your cell phone, you can actually plug that USB charger into your phone and put the wire one end on the negative of the charger, one end on the positive of the charger to this battery. 
Um, it's a six volt battery and the charger will regulate it in at five volts and you can charge your cell phone several times off of one of these batteries um, in an emergency situation. Like I said, it, it will light this flashlight for a long time and it'll work great in that aspect. And then you've got the cell phone charging ability on this as well, which is great uh, for any device that will charge off a of USB because the charger will regulate five volts for you. Um, so something, something there that, that kind of works great. Uh, if you got a little bit of electrical know-how, you can run two of these batteries together and then plug it into your charger uh, and you'll be at about 12 volts and you will get amperage a little faster. So you'll charge it a little bit quicker that way. Uh, it's still going to come in right around 5 volts, but you're getting a little bit more flow. So uh, put the battery back in. Very, very simple. This only fits in in one direction. It's got some slots here in the back. Those slots, very simply fit snugly into place here and you simply put the top back on and it snaps in it feels pretty tight um, you know is it completely watertight I, I have not tested that um, I'm hoping that uh, if we ever need emergency power emergency light uh, high up as I am off a of sea level that uh, we won't have to worry about an awful lot of water getting to this in, in my area um, but uh, certainly it feels pretty sturdy now, like I said, there are a lot of little bitty flashlights on the market that are tactical, practical. This one's got a clip on it. Um, there's a lot of LED flashlights that are great uh, out there that don't use a lot of battery power. This is just one that I was looking specifically if I wanted one to take out into the woods for months at a time. This is the, the flashlight I would take. Um, there's a lot of great ones here, a lot of really bright ones, but this one provides solid light for a long period of time. Um, you know, you can even take two water bottles full of water and set them in front of this flashlight while the flashlight's turned on and it will diffuse the light a little bit and it will break the beams out and spread it a little evenly, which will help illuminate your tent, uh, cabin, wherever you happen to be at in a survival or off-grid situation. Um, Really, really cool light for five bucks. I definitely recommend picking up one. This is the Ever Ready LED 6 volt lantern style flashlight. I found them at Home Depot. Uh, be careful because there are some Rayovac and a few other brands out there that are not LED bulbs. They're incandescent, they, they waste a lot of electricity, and they're not as bright. So I steer clear of those, but, but be careful they're out there. Ever Ready LED 6 volt lantern style. Uh, thanks as always for watching my videos. Get off the grid guy. Have a great day. Hey, it's get off the grid guy here. I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. Make sure to like the channel, subscribe, uh, leave me some comments. Um, if you want to help support my channel, you can always check out some of my books. I've got a couple of books available on Amazon for uh, survival books, hydroponic book. Uh, take a look at the, the uh, description below and check some of those out. Help support our channel. Help us grow by sharing these videos. Uh, as always, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.